The QC20W ball bar is arguably the most powerful machine tool diagnostic device available today and is sensitive to almost every geometric and dynamic error in the machine. Take a look at the result of the test. Look first at the polar plot, but don't worry if the errors appear extreme. By default, the ball bar 20 software automatically scales the plot to highlight the errors. So look at the scale that was used to format the plot. If you'd like to change the scale, right click, select manual scaling and enter a different value if desired. One of the interesting features of a ball bar test is that different error types produce distinctive plot shapes, so an experienced user can often tell at a glance what is wrong with the machine. This is what a squareness error looks like, an oval shape aligned to either the 45 or 135 degree diagonal. Straightness typically appears as a three-lobed plot. Scaling error, an oval shape aligned to the axes, clearly showing that one axis is moving further than the other. Lateral play or slot. If clockwise and counterclockwise runs are displayed, one plot will appear inside the other. Backlash. Appears as a step towards the centre of the plot and the affected axis. Reversal spikes. Appears as short spikes aligned to the axis. Servo mismatch. Note how this looks similar to squareness, except that the forward and reverse runs mirror each other. Cyclic error. Appears as a sinusoidal error varying in both frequency and amplitude around the plot. In addition to the polar plot, the software includes powerful mathematical algorithms that analyse the data and provide an estimate of specific machine errors. The percentages screen lists the most significant errors in order of importance. The circularity value is defined as the difference between the largest and smallest radius measured by the ball bar, and as such includes the effects of all the errors in the machine. It is therefore the key value that is used to compare and grade machines. If you have carried out a calibrated test, then just above circularity on the display is best fit radius. This is the radius of the circle that best fits the captured data and is shown on the plot as a dotted line. Notice that the plot may also show fit lines. If you do not see these, right click on the plot, click on the fit 1 and fit 2 tabs and make sure the show series checkbox is checked. The fit lines provide a visual indication of how well the software has been able to estimate specific error parameters. Look for good correlation between the fit lines and the actual plot data. As a rule of thumb, the difference should fall within one graduation on the autoscale graph. The positional tolerance value, which appears only if you have performed a calibrated test, is equivalent to the positional tolerance value found on engineering drawings and can therefore be used to estimate if a machine is able to produce parts to the drawing tolerances. For help with any of these values, simply click on the name and you are taken directly to the appropriate section of the user guide where you will find a description of the plot, an explanation of the diagnostic values, the likely cause and effect, and finally the suggested actions necessary to correct the problem. Along the top of the plot screen there are three additional tabs. Values displays the estimated diagnostic values for each of the errors. Table provides a full summary of all the diagnostic values together with a ranking for each error's contribution to the overall circularity result. Remember that by clicking any of these values you will see a detailed explanation from the user guide. Test conditions provide a detailed summary of the test parameters, how the test was performed and pre-test comments together with details of the ball bar hardware used for the test. So far, you have been looking at the Renishaw Diagnostics results, but there may be times when you are required to present the test information in accordance with national and international standards. Click the appropriate button on the left of the screen. Results can be displayed in accordance with the American ASME B5.54 or B5.57, ISO 230-4, the Japanese JASB and the Chinese GBT 17421.4 standards. Keep in mind that these reports do not include all of the information provided by the Renishaw Diagnostics Report screen. To return to the list of tests for the current machine, click the List button or click the Home button to return to the main Advanced Mode menu.